So this is what I want you to do. This is what I call, so now we have to start creating content that is going to draw the clients, draw the right people to you so they can actually, you know, it hits them on that engagement level. Like you, you ping them, you grab their attention because you're making it about them and they have problems that you can solve. Now we need to have a different content strategy, okay? And also people need to see you. They need to, they need to, to get an idea of what your energy is like, get an idea of how you present yourself, how you talk about things, what your ideas are, your thoughts, how you go about solving those problems. So this is what I call the FAQ method. The FAQ method is called the frequently asked questions method. What I want you to do is I want you to write down a list of the top 10, top 20 questions that you get about or the top 10, top 20 problems or challenges that companies, potential clients face with di their digital marketing, with their social media marketing, anything having to do with crafting those conversions for their business. And then I want you to create a video answering those questions. So for example, I'm just, you know, kind of spitballing off the top of my head. Um, what is the best, when is the best time to post on Instagram, right? Um, or, you know, what is the best way to, you know, sell, you know, jewelry on Facebook? What is the best way to create uh, engagement on your YouTube channel? Whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm just spitballing off the top of my head. Uh, how to get clients on TikTok? That's a that's a question. Probably every business owner, including yours truly, has all the time. How do I get clients on TikTok? How do I get customers on TikTok? You do a video. Literally, like don't overthink this. You do a video with your phone and you just literally talk about these are, for example, say here's three things you can do right now as a small business owner to attract the right clients, to attract the right customers on TikTok. Number one, make it fast, make it powerful, and don't ever talk about yourself. Don't ever sell your services. Don't ever say, hit that like button, hit that follow. You'll do that at the end, but the first 30 seconds, 45 seconds, it's all about solving their problem, answering their question. And here's the amazing thing, because I get this question all the time. So many businesses say, well, Nez, if I give it all away for free, what's going to make them hire me? <laughs> trust me. Trust me. 99% of people will never take action on it because they don't have the energy and they're lazy and they don't really know what they're doing anyway. What you're doing is you're becoming top of mind. What you're doing is you're conveying your energy. And if they like your energy, if they like the way you present yourself, more often than not, they're going to say, well, instead of me doing it, why don't I just hire her to do it? I can't tell you how many times I've had a client, Maxine, say to me, Nez, I got 10 proposals. Nez, there was five other companies that reached out to me, but I went with you. Why? Because I saw your video. Oh, okay. Don't ever forget this. Credentials, accolades, certificates, degrees, nothing comes close to your energy. People don't purchase your degrees, your credentials. People purchase your energy. And the best way to get your energy across is with video. It is true. I mean and by the way, you post this everywhere. You post this on LinkedIn. You post this on Instagram. You post it on TikTok. You post it on Facebook. You post it on YouTube Shorts. Post it everywhere. And I'm telling you right now, if you start with the first 30 to 45 seconds, all about those top three things to get clients on TikTok, then at the end, you know what this is called. You have a very strong CTA and you say, hey, by the way, I say this all the time. Hey, by the way, if you're curious, if you're interested in, in working together, check the link in my bio or follow for more strategies. Always at the end. The biggest problem that most businesses and creators make is they start off with, hi, my name is Professor Nez. I'm a professional this. I'm a keynote speaker. I do this. I, it's like, whoa, 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 I don't even care. You haven't, you haven't reached me yet. You haven't given me an incentive to keep listening. Yeah. Whenever I see that, I fast forward. I just want to get to the stuff. You just literally, literally, you're the exact case study. Like literally, you just, you just nailed it. What do you do? You swipe. Right. I've said this so many times, Maxine. 
And it's just something that I want people to understand, that I want my clients, you, uh, people, professionals to understand. If you tell me your story, I'm interested. If you tell me how cool you are and how blah, 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 much money you make and how big you are, I'm done. I swipe. If you tell me your story, I'm interested. But if you tell me how cool you are, I swipe. It happens every time. Does that make sense, Maxine? That I want you to do. This, what I'm telling you right now is bigger than anything else you're going to get from me. Literally, I'm not even kidding you. It's bigger than anything else you're going to get from me. And don't make it complicated. You don't need fancy lighting, fancy cameras, even though you probably have all that. You can literally do this on your phone, on the go. And if you write down 20 questions that you constantly get, the FAQ method, each one of those questions is a video that you answer in a video. Hey, I can do it. And I'm telling you right now, Maxine, watch what happens. Watch what happens. They are going to reach out to you. I guarantee you. And again, it takes time. You got to build it. And I'm not saying you have to post 20 videos in one day. Take, you know, uh, do a video a week. Do one video a week. That should be super easy. Do one video a week. Um, dare I say two if you can. And watch how that compound interest over time, the engagement, and then the strong CTA, the call to action at the end, you are going to get clients. And you're going to be Nez, corporate schmorporate, resume schmesume. I've got a list of clients that want to hire me. And then I'm always here if you have questions. Can it be any content? Does it have to relate to digital marketing? Or? I would say, you know, uh, you have your accounts for your gaming and your fun, right? I would say for your, your, your professional account, just keep it consistent with digital marketing because that's our goal. Our goal is to get clients for your digital marketing. Our goal is for people to pay you for your services, meaning your services in social media marketing, graphic design, etc. So I would say keep that account purely professional. Not to say that it has to be cold and stiff. I mean, you can show your personality, you know, be yourself, be weird, be, uh, uh, you know, uh, completely authentic. But I don't want you to post, you know, a video about how to get clients on TikTok. And then the next video is here's a video on how to, you know, take your dog for a walk. I mean, people are going to be confused, right? Um, but uh, by all means, show your personality and keep it relevant yet not so stringent but but, but relevant to um what you're trying to achieve what your goal is okay all right well i already started one so now i just need content that's right that's right and i mean i love your backdrop that you have right now maxine i love the way you look right now i mean literally just are you on a laptop right now I mean, it, literally just using even your webcam and just doing a quick video right now, just answering, hey, here's four things that anybody can do, that like you can do right now to help leverage, you know, uh, AdSense or you, Google search or whatever the topic is. And I'm telling you right now, you post that video, you don't have to overthink the thumbnail. The title is literally the answer to the question. The title, so for if the title is, you know, how do I get clients on, uh, I'm trying to get, I'm struggling getting clients on TikTok. The title is how to get clients on TikTok. It's an answer to the question. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, you do that, um, you do that consistently and you really dive deep into your audience and your viewership and the people, the clients that you're trying to attract and what their pain points are, you're going to be on fire. Promise. Okay. Well, thank you.